Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now, I know what you're thinking. The last video was cyclist goes running. This video is cyclist going swimming. The answer to your question is, well, maybe, maybe, but not yet. I don't know the answer yet. But for now, instead of thinking of whether, if I'm gonna do triathlon, I'm just, what I'm doing is enjoying other ways of staying fit. Like usually at this point of the year, getting back into the swing of things on the bike, panicking about how much weight I've put on in the last month or two and how I'm fit I'm getting, wondering how I'm gonna claw it all back together in time for UAE tour in February and worrying about all the eyes in the various teams looking at each rider and going, oh, he's fit, oh, he's not, oh, we had a very good off season. Yeah, quite strange to not have that, to not have that, um, to have no one, no one kind of watching. Yeah, that's, that's you know, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. But I am wanting to keep fit, uh, regain some fitness, uh, just generally, you know, be fit and healthy. But I'm just enjoying different forms of being fit and healthy. Uh, and swimming's part of that. Now, swimming's different to running. I do come from a swimming background. I was a, a, a good swimmer in terms of the, I'd say the average population. I was a bad swimmer competitively. I just wasn't very competitive. I mean, my personality is very competitive but I was not competitive if that makes sense but it was something I did a lot because of my haemophilia and it's something we're going back to so it's certainly it's easier to slot back into than the running has been but very much realizing that my upper body is weak it's very weak so we're just we're working on that a bit before we crack into the actual swim and what we're doing today uh, win your dream bike there's a bunch of prizes there's up to 10,000 tickets available. The odds there are mind-blowingly better than the lottery or Euro Millions and there's a variety of bikes on sale. You're not like limited to, you, you're right there, your door's open. Why is it beeping? Why is it yelling at me? There we go. There's a variety of uh, bikes available, both brand and genre, uh, you know, mountain bike, gravel, E, and then all sorts of different brands as well and they all very high-end bikes there's also something very exciting coming for the December draw but I'm gonna tell you about that in December but for now everything you need is in the link in the description below thanks to win your dream bike for supporting the channel very very grateful last month's winner it's a very cool story that I will tell you about another time around around the winner because it's it's gone to a you know luck is a funny thing sometimes anyway I'm gonna go swimming I'm gonna take you along for the not the ride or the run. The dip. What is aerodynamics in the pool? Hydrodynamics. Oh, that's actually a thing. Well, I mean, I assume that's a thing. Hydrodynamics. Hydrodynamics. We haven't got into that yet. I'm just trying to get from one end to the other reasonably quickly. One thing I've noticed about swimming is that exercising whilst breathing not as much as you would like is difficult. Doing that at altitude. So we are still at 1500 meters where the swimming pool is is exponentially more difficult as well but weirdly compared with swimming down at sea level i'm not the speed's not a great deal different differences to when i used to be a swimmer was i have a watch it tells me how fast i'm going all the time and that's um i don't know if it's a good or a bad thing to be honest i never used to consider how fast i was swimming when i was younger you just used to do what was set on the whiteboard in the swimming club very different and Maybe that's the aim of a coach now, is to slow people down as much as speeding them up instead of just trying to swim as fast as I can all the time. And the other joys of here is that it's a completely empty swimming pool at 10 a.m. Very empty swimming pool at 10 a.m. And I don't think that happens in the UK. <sighs> yeah. But I'm not gonna take the camera into the changing rooms because, well. Pervert. Probably don't even have to explain why. If you're asking that question, I'm worried for you. Put the camera into the change room. I need the logo. Look at that little tiny. Look at that little touch. Mm. <laughs> this is like OnlyFans content. <laughs> I did the sub seven. Look at that rug. Look at that rug on him. Yeah. These are probably one of your best purchases. Yes. Highly recommend Aftershocks. Uh, Waterproof headphones. Waterproof headphones. That's the bit down for it. Swimming is dull. Please. It's a bit dull, so if you've got something to listen to, it helps. Really dull. These actually my goggles from back in the day. 
today. Probably 15, 15 years old. Oh my god, did you do this up seven? Wow. I actually did a third of an Iron Man. Um, you did a third of an Iron Man. Yeah. It's a shame you didn't do the whole one. No. I know someone who did that. Yeah. See you in a bit. Two kilometers, it seems an awfully small distance in my, you know, Milan San Remo's 300. And I know bike versus swim, but that was fine. When I swam when I was a kid, it was all based around sprint swimming. So there was, for some reason, it was just like the less breaths you can take, the better. The better. Whereas being a bit older, a bit wiser, and, and knowing that oxygen is quite crucial to athletic performance, especially in the endurance sector. Kind of at a loss as to how I've always, on front crawl, breathed. Breathed? Breathen? Breathed? Every three strokes. So it's all like symmetrical. Whereas I don't know whether now I should be breathing every stroke to get, or like every stroke to one side. So like, right, breathe, left, don't breathe, right, breathe, left, don't breathe. So if there's any people who are very good, or people who are well versed in endurance swimming or triathloning, if they could uh, let me know down in the comments what's best. But yeah, that, that's the swim. So I was swimming at around about a minute 35 per 100 meters, which is, I think at that pace gets an Ironman swim done in an hour if I can hold it. But we are at altitude, so that's an excuse. And I heard wetsuits speed you up, so that's another excuse. Not that we're talking about doing triathlon in any way, shape or form. But yeah, that was fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, oh, and if anyone's got any recommendations on swim hats for larger headed people, I would appreciate it, because every hat Chanel owns keeps, keeps like slipping up. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks for watching. Thanks again to Win Your Dream Bike for sponsoring uh, another vlog. And we'll see you next time.